Effect. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Today, we've got a week six matchup for you here between the Miami Dolphins and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. And here's Jakeem Grant from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. down, Tonga Bailoa finding Gaskin underneath. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it and really gets them amped up as they go forward. Looking to throw again on second down. Tua. they get this out wide to Gaskin. Seven yards there and a first down. I'm not sure that this play was designed for him specifically, but they got through the progressions and got the ball to him. So second catch on the drive. He may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Absolutely. This early, the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So if they can get him going in the passing game, that should open up his running game, too. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup. Tua setting up shop to throw again. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 12 more yards there and another first down. Play action. Now it's Tua. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? A play fake for Gaskin. Now Tua. Open receiver here. Complete. It's Parker. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And he's got his tight end, Gesicki, in the end zone. Touchdown, Dolphins. Mike Gesicki, his second touchdown on the season. And the Dolphins take it right down and score on the opening drive. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. stop him right at the line of scrimmage just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever second and ten so after the run for no gain here's second and ten now Lawrence being chased out left throw left side gonna be caught by Chenault and he'll be out right at the 35 we'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive 
And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. It's a gain of just a couple there, but it's enough to get them the first. They'll run it now with Robinson. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. Lawrence with the handoff to Robinson. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. This defense for the Dolphins, they were terrific a week ago in that victory over Tampa Bay, Charles. Yeah, what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down and they're playing with extreme confidence. On second down, it's Robinson. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. From midfield now, Lawrence. And this is going to be incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. On is the punter, Scott, here as he gets this one away. Play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked down and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. near his goal line. Here's Tua. He'll get this to his tight end, Gesicki. So they got some pressure, maybe hoping to get a safety, and they get roughing the passer. And gave up a pass completion as well. Nothing really went right on that play for them. Here's Tungabailoa on first and ten. Trying to lay one up deep. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Jalen Waddle with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Dolphins strike quickly here for six points. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And it's now 14 to nothing. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand. And they'll take that. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. to start it out. Robinson. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Here's a second and two now from the 33. On the run, it's Robinson. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. On play action, Lawrence. And a dump off here to Robinson. And he fights through and now a crease. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. A big gain of 28 as the drive continues. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory right at the 40. They go play action now. Lawrence airing this one out for Fitzgerald. And that is incomplete. 
like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. They go play action with Lawrence. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. They just gave up a sack there, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And they're just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if they have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe a back, someone to help assist, because right now, the quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. He gets it into the hands of Larry Fitzgerald. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Well, the coverage was tight that time. They allowed the pass underneath to him, but they rallied to him pretty fast, too. Converged on him and got him down. That'll bring up fourth down. Here's J.K. Scott now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Oh, he'll field it in the end zone. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. The tackle made by Caleb on chase on. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Here's Tua. sideline he caught it but out of bounds according to the headlinesman incomplete so the ball a little late getting there and it's third down they come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion throwing now is Tunga Bailoa that's complete to his tight end Mike Kosicki and he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion they give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs Play action. Here's Tua sliding out of the pocket. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13 yard run. Going to the air, Tug of Iloa. Here's Fuller with a catch. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. I'm seeing a lot of hands on hips in that secondary, and I suspect a lot of mumbling under their breath as well because this defense has had no answer for the passing game here in the first half. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. now and he's going to go down just inside the five yard line Jay Tufele in there to record the second sack of his young NFL career two minutes to play first half it's 14 to nothing line of scrimmage again the four yard line second and goal and he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage back at the six it'll go down as a two-yard loss and it brings up a third down and that's what i'd like to see out of this defense a little fire a little toughness it hasn't been the best first half for them but they did do a nice job there forcing a loss on that play big play coming here it's third and goal now this time he'll look to throw there's Fuller for a Dolphin touchdown. Will Fuller, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Dolphins add on to their lead. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we're usually talking about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line.
Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. They've had it twice. They've punted twice, not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? And he'll be marked down deep on Miami's side of the field. They'll try and run for him on first and goal. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Call it a gain of two as they're knocking on the door now. Third and goal. Here's a handoff out of the gun. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. one through. So we've reached halftime here, and it's the visiting Dolphins taking a lead to the locker room. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida, and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, as they say here in London, all to play for as we are back underway in the second half. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that, there he goes, left side. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. On first down, Robinson. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Throwing quickly, that's caught by Brown out wide. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 48 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. First and goal they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run again here with Robinson. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard that time. Second and goal. Now a handoff here to his running back. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. Robinson. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. This defense continues to be good on third down. I mean, they haven't allowed a touchdown offensively. Are you saying, let's go for this. Let's try to get it in the end zone. I don't know about that because of what you just described. They've been so good, and they don't give up the big play that you would expect in downs one through three. Why should fourth down be yeah, any different? True. You might want to go ahead and kick the field goal and see if you can figure out something else as this game moves on. They'll try and run. This is Robinson. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. James Robinson, his fifth touchdown now on the year.
And the Jaguars are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. Extra point tacked on by Lambeau. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. So the extra point good, and the roughing call going to move the ball out to the 50 for the kickoff. And I think this is a good chance to pin them deep if you can land the kickoff inside the five-yard line or so. Gain some field position for your defense. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 26. Now a play fake. Here's Tug of Iloa. Open net is Waddle complete. Oh, an absolutely filthy joke. He's got some space now. And all the way in for the Miami touchdown. Jalen Waddle with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yep. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. A rookie QB struggling gets thrown down to the ground there, but you know maybe this game, it's not over yet, but maybe this game can be a learning experience for him. So many different things that he has to pick up on. When to, when to go ahead and flush from the pocket and run. When to get rid of the football and not take the sack. When to just go ahead and go down early and make sure you don't make sure you don't fumble the football. So many things that he has to learn. This game starts the process. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. Flushed out right. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. And they'll try and throw for it with Lawrence. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Fitzgerald. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it. But in the end, great execution. A six-yard gain, and it all works out. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Lawrence to throw. Over the middle, hauled in by Sharp. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Call that a very strong gain of 24. They run. Robinson. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 66 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. First and ten, it's Lawrence. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. Boy, Charles, that time he took a bad situation and made it worse. Yeah, you're almost putting together a nice little song there, aren't you? Because it's something you'll see from young quarterbacks. They have that tendency to retreat backwards instead of stepping up in the pocket. After the sack on first down, Lawrence, quick slant to Brown. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. On third down, Lawrence 
They'll roll him out right. And the throw there going to be incomplete. The Dolphins do the job defensively there, and now it brings up fourth. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. So the response to that touchdown on the other side to begin the third quarter, look, just three points, but still a response nonetheless. You're exactly right about that because I think you needed to answer back with something, even though it's not six. Just enough to send a message that says, hey, we're not going away. And they don't. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And the Jags grab it. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. Call it a gain of two as time has run out on this third quarter of play. We have played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the gun on third down, Lawrence. This is caught by Robinson. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. That one good for a gain of 13 for Jacksonville in a first down. They'll run here with Robinson. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Lawrence. Eluding the pressure right. This is going to be caught. It's John Brown. Touchdown, Jaguars. John Brown. His second touchdown on the season. And the Jaguars have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Point after by Lambeau up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. And Lambeau now after the touchdown. He'll kick this one away. Here's Jakeem Grant from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. Looking to pass. Tua. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones at a first down. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. No gain, and it's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Two and throwing here, complete to Gaskin. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Here's Brown. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Yeah, the drive stays alive. A third down gain of eight. Tua now on first down. Now the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. Caleb on chase on. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. 
Another try after the first down sack. Tua, that's going to be caught by Waddle. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he is a get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short game. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Another catch there for Waddle. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That'll put him up over 160 yards receiving now for the game. They can't seem to stop it. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. He's going to air one out. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. And the Jaguars are going to cover this one up. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I, yeah, man, it's caught inside the 10. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. And he's able to get it down to the 2-yard line. And they give him 5 that time as they draw a bit closer here for a 2nd and goal. And he'll take this one in for a Jags touchdown. James Robinson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Jaguars are back within a score. Lambeau to add on the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. Here's Jakeem Grant from his end zone. And yeah, this will be a touchback as Grant opts not to return it. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. Now a throw here to his running back. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Tongue of Iloa looking to throw it. Escaping the pressure right. To the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Now tongue of Iloa. Checked himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. The Jaguar is going to go ahead and use their first timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. That one looks like he'll throw here. Rolling to his right. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive here obviously got to hope to get something quick right and then maybe take that shot deep and once they do take the big shot and the pressure gets to Lawrence and he'll go down so they'll quickly now signal for the timeout and it's definitely not looking good but at least they'll have one final play to hope for that miracle and get him in the end zone a 
Final shot now for Lawrence. Under pressure, they got it. 